Okay, hey guys, welcome to, um, never mind that, uh, that's usually what I say to on a stream, but we're going to talk about community day, what's coming in, what's going to happen. So it starts Jan uh, Sunday, June 6th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. He says, Gibble will be appearing more frequently in the wild. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. Involve Gibble. I mean, Gabbit to Gibble's evolution. I mean, uh, that's Gibble's evolution during the event or up to two hours afterwards to get a Grom Garchomp that knows the attack Earth Power. You can take a few snapshots during the new day, blah, blah, blah. There will be special one-time purchase community day box available for 1,280 coin, uh, Forky Coins featuring 50 Ultra Balls. Five incense, five lucky eggs, and elite charge TM. And of course, they're gonna have a one dollar uh, Gibble research day, special research. So there's that. Okay, now on to some tips to get you the best experience from Gibble Community Day. First tip: I strongly recommend you guys to clear out your inventories. Sounds like basic stuff but it can really help a lot of remove the extra gifts you have in your inventory get rid of anything that's useless to you and make space for pokeballs i suggest mostly great balls and ultra balls you guys can have a higher chance of catching gibble faster and also use raspberries and pineapple berries to increase the catch rate time is money during community day the faster you can catch one gibble the faster you can move on to another one this way you guys can have enough candy to power up evolve and get extra moves for your pokemon another good strategy to catch these gibble fast is fast catching if you guys don't know what fast catching here is a brief explanation Fast catching is, um, you know how look, you see there's a Merkel right here. Since I do have iPogo, the hack version of Pokemon Go, you go to settings and you have the VIP version, you can have fast catch. What fast catch does is, you see this Merkel? Catch it. Um, here, you just catch it and there you go. And also you can release it there also the feature to this app really important to tip get those incense because they're going to be lasting for three hours that's half amount of time for the event so make sure you have two of them if, and if you're not the type of person to waste money on a free play game that's okay you can go to nearby gyms and place your Pokemon there to earn some coins you can earn 50 coins per day and incense cost only 40 coins on the next tip lucky eggs you guys have to use those lucky eggs there's a high chance that you guys have a lucky egg rotting in your inventory and if not they cost 80 Pokemon the event will have three times catch XP, so using those lucky eggs can eat really boost your levels. And you can't forget the star piece to the people that don't know basically what a star piece does. It doubles the amount of star dust you get from catching a Pokemon, which is pretty helpful. Stardust is hard to come by, so make sure you're using that star piece during the community day. Now to the advanced tip for the higher level players. Get the XL candies for Gibble. Make sure you evolve the best IV Gibble you find because Garchomp will be a good Pokemon for raids and PvP with his new move, Earth Power. 